I want to talk about social media. Why do I want to talk about social media? Because it's super important. We are living in a technical world. Boys and girls, we are living in a technical world. Mums and dads, if you're watching this, there is no escaping it, okay? There's no escaping it. And frankly, I think we should embrace it. You know, I am in the jungle, Kieran, yes. I think we should embrace it. I think that we should embrace technology. I think we should embrace gaming. Now, I know I'm going to get a few frowns from parents with that one. Not all parents, but some. That being said, I want you to have a look at my previous gaming talk that I did. And you then hopefully we can come to some sort of understanding in regard to that. But today I want to talk about social media because we're in a very technical, technical world. Dan Jones is on board. Hey, Dan, what's going on, buddy? We're talking about social media today, mate. So social media, social media all of a sudden came along. It's a big social boom, wasn't it? And bang, it's in our faces. And because it's new, because it's exciting, because it's different, because we've got Snapchat and Facebook and, and Twitter and TikTok and, and Instagram and all these things are, are flowing around our heads because, um, because they're new and exciting. We want to get on them to show that maybe we are in with the incredible Robin Jones uh, story and sail it. Have, uh, yeah, cool. So, um, hey, Megan, Megan's on board as well. Social media. I have found out there's so many new different forms of social media out there that I don't even know about them. I don't, they, they, so many people are just trying to get you in to the social media. They're trying to get you involved in social media. Dan's kids are watching. Uh, Dan, what are their names? Put their names down, please. Um, social media. Now, if you're, if you're, I don't know. I, listen, it's, it, if you're watching this and you're, you're a kid, then I want you to make sure that you understand your mum and dad's thoughts about social media. And I'll tell you why. Because I have had clients, I have been working with people in the past that are adults. So we're talking people that are anywhere between 36 and 50. And kids, guess what I've done? I have given them the homework. I've been, I'm quite a strict coach at times. I've been given the homework of you are not allowed on social media. I am banning you from social media. Why? Because you are not mature enough yet. But Dale, I'm 42. Doesn't, I, you could be 43. <laughs> I don't care. I'm banning you from social media. Why? Because said person was just watching the negative. Being absorbed with the negative. And they're putting things up on social media like, ah, oh, Lenita's on board. What's going on, Lenita? Louise is here. Fire. So we're talking about social media today, Lenita. Uh, I can't hear you. We're going to figure, yeah, yeah. Lily, figure it all out for me, okay? If you, I want you to hear this. I, I really do. So with social media, I ban my adult clients. Not all of them, because some of them are pretty cool on social media. Um, but some of them that aren't ready for social media. They see negative things. They see the, they, they, they focus on the, the negative, the glass half empty, not half full. And they they write things on, oh, my boyfriend's an idiot because of this, this and this. Oh, I hate the world's terrible. I don't understand why this is. Oh, I've just lost at Fortnite again. Oh, or whatever. I don't really know. Um, uh, I've had a really bad day at work and people are being really mean to me. I hate my boss. He's such a loser. He's making me do this, this and this. Why do people post that on social media for? Kids and adults, adults, I think you know, but I'm gonna refresh your memories if you don't. Kids, people post things like that because they want attention. Here's what they receive. Let's pretend I am doing it. Let's pretend my name's Kirsty. Okay, I'm, I'm Kirsty. And I I'm, I'm type on Facebook, on my Facebook profile, I've had a really tough day at work. My boss uh, is really horrible and mean to me. Um, he had a go at me just for being five minutes late uh, when he didn't listen to me and the fact that I uh, was stuck in traffic. I hate work. It's not fair. Send it. What will happen is, everybody watching this, what will happen is, I'm Kirsty. So me being Kirsty now might receive a message. I might get a message from a friend going, oh, don't worry about him. He's just so unthoughtful. He's a loser. You're fine. Keep doing what you're doing, hun. I might get another message. Oh, he sounds like a right idiot. I'd look for another job. Oh, my God. You were only five minutes late. Oh, my gosh. It doesn't matter. It's okay. 
What, what is Kirsty doing? What am I doing as Kirsty? I am wanting nurture. I'm wanting attention. I'm wanting love from pain. Okay, so let me put that into a real context with kids. So let's say I did a really cool picture for my mum and I drew the picture out and I said, Mum, look, 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 look. And mum's busy. Mum, mum might be busy. She may give me attention. Who knows? But let's, mum, mum, look, 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 look at this. Oh, yeah, let's, let's put it on the fridge. Put it on the fridge. It's okay. Put it on the fridge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not a lot of attention. I draw another picture. Mum, look, look, look. Do you like this, mum? Do you like this? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's lovely. Look, put, it, put it on there. Put it on next to the other picture on the fridge. It's beautiful. I like that. Fall over, hurt your knee. Wham, 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 wham. Crying, 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 crying. What for? To get attention. And when mum, if mum comes up to me and goes, Oh, poor baby, you're okay. You're falling over, hurt your knee. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Guess what I've just learnt now? Guess what I have just learnt now? I've learnt that when I have pain, when I cause myself pain, I get, ding, 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 attention. And attention is so important in life. But I think what's even more important than getting attention is the way you get attention first. OK, kids, the way you get attention first. So what I want you to think of is, oh, now oh, I've just hurt myself and my mum gave me love. Attention is love. Ah. Oh. If I'm feeling a bit down, if I'm feeling a bit sad. Hey, Jane, I might hurt myself again. So I might fall over on purpose and hurt my knee, even though it didn't hurt, and fake cry. Mommy comes out. Oh, but you OK? Ah, oh, get exactly what I want. Get exactly what I want. Sometimes kids in this world, this might be a bit tough to understand, and I hope, I hope you do get it. And if not, message me, reach out. But sometimes that stays with us into our adulthood. But we don't fall over and hurt our knee this time. What we do instead, naughty boy, says Kieran, I know. What we do instead, Kieran, what we do instead is not fall over and hurt our knee at work. We maybe, um, I don't know, be five minutes late for work. Accidentally on purpose. We may not be fully motivated at work. We may not be fully motivated in a relationship. We may say something mean to our husband or our our wife, or it might be unthoughtful, and we know for a while we're going to get some form of attention for that. So what we do is that carries on. And by the way, I'm not saying it's everybody, just some people. Just be aware about it. Just be aware about it. Um, I realised that I was doing this, not recently, but in the past, I was doing this. I was um, not on social media, but in, 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 previous, in previous relationships, I was being a bit, oh, poor me, poor me. And I, because I love the attention. Now, instead of that, what should I have done? I should have, instead of doing acting that way, I should have drew my picture or whatever. I should have done really cool things. I should have, hey, Danny, what's going on, buddy? Dan's on board. Remember, hey, guys, remember Dan? Dan Knight Allen, um, legend. Uh, we, instead of doing that, instead of um, putting things on like, uh, um, oh, mommy, look, I drew a picture. I drew a picture. Oh, instead of for, for me, oh, guess what? I've um, coached these people and I've got these beautiful messages. I've made an online course. Look at this, everybody. Look at this. Hey, guys, I've done this, this, and this. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Instead of that, I will draw a picture for me. I don't know if you've seen this, guys. I'll, I'll send you all messages. Um, you'll, you'll probably see it actually. It's, it's, it's on my recent thread on Facebook. I drew a Spider-Man picture Rec uh, recently. It was six years ago, actually. I drew a Spider-Man picture. Maggie's on board. Hey, Maggie. I drew a Spider-Man picture and I um, drew that because I wanted to draw it. I didn't need to go, hey, kids, look at this. Hey, mummy, look at this. Hey, girlfriend, look at this. Hey, dad, look at this. Hey, brother, look at this. I just drew it for me. Wow. And it was so powerful and it was so amazing. And then... What I'm doing now on my adventure, I'm working with so many children, I'm meeting so many cool people around the world, like in Australia, like in America, uh, I get to travel as, as much as I possibly can. I am doing all that for me. Yes, I am helping out the kids. Oh, thank you, Lenita Lisa, that's my spider picture. I am doing that for the kids because I want to be a role model. I really want to be a role model. And I think being a role model is being really you, doing things for you, messing up, 
and being okay with messing up because failure leads to excellence in my term. You've got to fail. Failure leads to success. So anyway, let's recycle that. I am drawing my picture for me. I am working my, my butt off, sorry, <laughs> for me. Yes, people are coming towards me. People are coming towards me and saying, Dale, Dale, we love this. This is really, really good. Brilliant. I am seeking. Now, I want you to listen to this one, guys, okay? If you can, get a pen and write this one down or type it in the chat. I need you to write this one down. Internal, internal validation. It's a lot, two long words. Internal, I bet you know what to internal means. Uh, can you get Madison? I will, Alex, yes. Um, internal validation. What do you think of that for me? Now, underneath that, perfect, thank you, Kieran. Internal validation. Now, Kieran, what I want you to do for me is write down external validation. Do that now for me. So we've got internal validation, when we've got external validation. And I reckon a lot of you on here may or may not know what internal means and may or may not know what external means. So internal is inside of us. Internal is within me, within me. So <laughs> I'm dropping the truth bronze player. Yes. And external is, thank you, Kieran. Oh, Kieran shouted that one. External validation. Um, external is outside of me. Okay. So for example, I'm in my room. Okay, let me see if I can pick you guys up. Let me see if I can pick you Oh, I can, yes. Okay, so this is internal. I'm in my room. This is internal. This is my chalkboard. Here's my computer. It doesn't work. And outside of the window is, there you go, external. Okay? That's external. This is internal. I want you to think of it as a human being now, everybody. So, oh, that's better light, isn't it? There we go. Internal versus external validation. Oh, please stay there. Please stay. We're good. There we go. So if I am doing things in life to get external validation, I'm going to be unhappy. If I'm doing things in life to get internal validation, I am going to be happy. What's validation mean, Dale? Huh. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Validation is approval. Validation is, oh gosh, it's a nod. It's a you're doing the right thing there. I'm proud of you. That's so cool. Amazing. Validation is validating something that you like. For example, this would be me. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, I'm going to think of an example. Okay. Uh, okay, so you all know by now that I won a TV game show. Okay, Cannonball. It was amazing. It was so good. If I was a bit insecure with myself, if I was a bit... Um, arrogant let's say uh, not all the time but if I was a bit arrogant I would want to go on that show and win that show to show off to everybody I would want to go on that one to show everyone who's the best this guy I'm the best hey everybody look at me I've just won a tv game show I'm better than you you're rubbish huh I'll beat you you said you were gonna beat me yeah right mate I've won huh look at this everybody everybody look at me 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 you want external validation. You need to. You need other people's approval to fill you up. But that other people's approval isn't going to be there. That other people's approval isn't your approval. It goes in short term and you feel good. That long, you feel good. Yes, I feel good. And it goes away just as quickly. Whereas if I went on the TV game show, which is true, so this is what I did for me. I wanted to prove something to me. I wanted to prove myself that I am confident. I wanted to prove to myself that I have self-belief. I want to prove myself that I am good enough to win this TV show. Even though I don't know I'm going to win and I'm not expecting to, I know that that's something that I want to do for me. And yeah, I've, I tell, I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, but I use it as a tool to motivate. I use it as a tool to inspire. And I, as soon as I'm on the show, I told people, I told my mum, that was it, and one friend, when I was out there. My mum and one friend. I didn't need to go, hey guys, what was going on with it like that? I just told those people. When I got home, then I started to tell people, okay? Because I was doing it for me. I did it for me. 
which means that I have a certain level of confidence. Now, Dale, we're talking about social media. Why on earth are you talking about that for? Let me tell you right now. Okay, so if I am using social media for external validation, I'm going to be unhappy. I'm going to be on social media showing off and showing up to other people. I want you to show off to yourself. I want you to show up to yourself. That's what I want. So what do I use social media for? Well, look at me now. I, I'm, I'm on here and I'm, I'm trying to help as many people as I possibly can. And I'm not saying that, oh, by the way, kids, this is this is the only way to do it. I'm saying, look, this is a, another way that you can do it. You can do you can keep doing that way. But you, there's this option as well. And there's this option as well. On, on Instagram, if those if those of you on here that have got me on Instagram, you can see that my posts are really varied. They're really silly and they're really serious and they're very funny and they're very um, on point with a, with a purposeful message because I'm doing it for me. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of a secret, okay? Uh, how can I put this? Um, one day ages ago and i'll be honest with you i like being vulnerable with you guys because i know you understand hey andrew what's going on i know you understand i was a bit silly and a bit immature with laura my girlfriend we're talking a oh, year and a half ago years ago we're talking about and i i think it was something along that i can't i'm gonna guess now because i can't remember it was such a long time ago but i do remember the story uh uh Ah, third thought. So sometimes we get angry and that's normal and that's okay. So what I choose to do is I choose to ignore my first thought, reactant. Oh, I want to tell her off. She did the she did the washing up wrong. <laughs> she didn't walk as well. Uh, she cooked it in the wrong way or she didn't make the bed or she got up late or I don't know, whatever it may be. That, but by the way, all those things, they're my problems, not hers. Just saying. Uh, so ignore my first thought, ignore my second thought and act on my third thought. Oh, she shouldn't have done this. It's silly. And next time I'm going to tell her to do this. Maybe she was tired and she just needed a break. Chill out down. <sighs> yeah. Okay. That's my third thought. Now, I acted on my first thought one day in the past. That's what I did. It led to a bit of an argument. Sorry for being human, everybody. But it did lead to a bit of an argument, which is okay as long as we take accountability for our own stress and our own voices afterwards. The next day, I wrote a post about being calm and listening to your third thought. Laura saw the post and said, why, you, I don't understand you, you're such a hypocrite. You, you, you didn't do, you, you're telling people, you're telling people to do this and you didn't do it yesterday. I don't get it, I don't understand. I'm like, ah, okay. Well, here's the secret. I am writing those posts to me. I'm writing those posts to me. And if anybody likes it, and if anybody uh, leaves a comment, and if anyone says, oh my God, that's me, or oh my God, that's such great advice. Yes, that's wicked. That's so cool. But I'm not writing it for them. I'm writing it for me. So I can see that and think, hmm. That's it. That's something I need to learn. And she understood and she got that. So the point I'm making here is I am on social media for me. I'm not following the amount of likes that I get. I'm not following the amount of comments that I get. I'm not following the amount of subscribers I get. I'm not following the amount of uh, people that follow me on Instagram or the amount of views that I'm getting on here. I don't, I would do this if I had no views. I would genuinely do this if I had no news because it's me talking to me. I'm doing this for me. Before you use any form of social media, everybody, I would like you to know who you are and be completely comfortable with who you are. I want you to love yourselves. I want you to understand yourselves. And I want you to say, oh, well, I want you to act on purpose for you. I don't want you to follow anybody else like, like, like a sheep. People watching this right now, you are not put on this earth to follow. You are not put on this earth to be a sheep. You're put on this earth to be a lion, to be a lioness, to get out there 
carve your own destiny, have purpose, have a point, have a reason to be on this planet. And to do that, we don't look for likes off other people. I can I be honest with you? I did. When I first started Instagram, I was like, oh yes, I've got, I got these, like, I've got four likes. Oh, I've got 20 likes. Oh, I've got 100 likes. Oh my God, I've got 7,000 views. Oh, look at that, that's so cool. Sometimes, I, sometimes now I say that, I say, oh, that's pretty cool. Look, I'm impacting people. Smile on my face. Yes, brilliant. But I, then I leave it as that. I don't go on there straight away and have a look at it. So know who you are first before you have social media. Listen to your mum and dad. It's their electricity. They're paying the bills. They bought the phone. If they say you're not allowed on social media until you're 14 because we care about you, then you're not allowed on social media until you're 14. Done. Or 12 or, or ever old. It's not, I'm not going to give the rules out. It's not nothing to do with me. But you have to respect them. You have to respect their decision. Because... I want you to think of this. Having social media, gaming is a privilege. You get to do that. If you want to, you get to have social media. You get to game. If you, I can't do social media with this, 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 this thing, because it hasn't got electricity going through it. I need to have electricity to go through a device for it to work. But I have to pay for that. Every kid watching this, you don't pay for that. Mum and Dad do. It's a privilege that you've got a bedroom, a special room just to sleep in. That's so cool. About 70% of the population of the world don't have that. They don't have that. And I'm talking in England as well. So, respect. Maggie, yes, well done. Respect, perfect. I like people watching this to respect themselves. And then respect others. If you're being mean, cruel, aggressive, angry to somebody else, that's a sign, a message to me, that you don't even respect yourself. We're not put on this earth to be upset. We're not put on this earth to, to upset other people. <laughs> We're put on this earth to, to lift people, to grow people. Okay, that's phase one. Phase two of the conversation is, how does social media work? Okay, cool, I'll tell you how social media works. Social media is amazing, amazing if you want it to be. Social media is toxic and horrible if you choose to see it that way. If you choose to allow, now I know that people are watching this have had a bullying conversation with me before. Same rules apply on social media, on in, uh, virtual bullying. I have had clients kids come to me and other people have said the worst things, the worst things ever, but yet they still message back and look, and look. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. Because kids that look and look and look and look and look at the negativity that's coming their way. Oh, let's let's pick on somebody. Look, let's say oh, I'm going to say a random name actually. Who's who do I, who's not someone called Joshua? Someone, let's say someone called Joshua. Joshua's just like uh, get, gets a message of somebody saying, "Oh, you're an idiot. I hate you. Look at your face. You've got a stupid face. Why don't you go and mm. yourself?" My oh, gosh, what did you say that for? Oh, because you're an idiot. No one likes you. You're a loser. That's really I'd, that's horrible. What what you, what you, Joshua? Freaking delete it, delete it and block, delete and block. Why would you want this? This is this is what Joshua was doing. Uh, Joshua, you're an idiot. Why don't you go mm, yourself? That's not very nice. Lump of cow poo. That's not very nice. Yeah, well, no one likes you. You've got no friends. I don't like. Why do you say that for? I do have friends. More cow poo. Josh is rolling in the poo, okay? Josh is rolling in the poo. He's rolling in the negativity. He's rolling in the negativity because what the brain actually thinks it's doing is protecting Josh by saying, you need to make sure that you watch out for these people because this is going to protect you. This, you, you need to watch out for all the negativity. So when you do see the negativity, you know how to avoid it. You know how to run away. Uh-uh, guess what, Josh? We're not living in hunter-gatherer times. Guess what, Josh? 
we are not living in caveman or cavewoman times. We are living in the century that is all techno, that is all relationship based. So you don't have to look out for the negativity. There's not a saber tooth tiger just around the corner ready to maul you to death because it's a little bit peckish. Nope, nope. But that's what the brain, Josh's brain actually thinks that these messages are. They think it's something to be aware of. Your brain thinks it's something to, to notice, to be well, so it doesn't get hurt again because the brain's dumb. It doesn't understand the difference between physical pain and emotional pain. Physical pain is this. Ow. Guess what the brain says? Now it's going to learn. Physical pain. The brain learns to dodge. The brain learns to block. Whatever. I don't know. The brain learns to block that. Emotional pain. I put my hand up in class. Hey, miss, it's 73. No, it's not there. It's not 73. It's 72. Come on. <laughs> Class. <laughs> They've got it wrong. <laughs> Next day. Next lesson. Another question. Brain doesn't like that emotional pain. It was nothing physical. So what does it do? The block or the dodge is the not putting your hand up. The brain's learned to avoid the pain. Emotional pain, that is by not putting its hand up and not asking a que answering a question. Oh. But that's the only way we learn. We learn by failing. You got the right answer in the end, Dale. Congratulations. Just because you've got an ounce of pain while people are laughing at you, it's not physical. Yes, 100% dodge the physical punch. Yes, 100% don't run across the M6. Yes, 100% don't fight a bear. That's going to end in physical pain and or death. Perfect. Emotional pain wouldn't. You already know my story about releasing my book. So I wrote a book called Raw Confidence and it's managed to hit number one bestseller on, Insta on um, uh, Amazon. And I'm so proud of myself for that. I really am. But I got some emotional pain before I pressed the publish button. Here's the publish button. And my finger was, <sighs> was there for half an hour to 40 minutes. Not knowing, I don't want to publish it. Why? Because I thought people might think it was rubbish. I thought people might think it was crap. I thought people might think, oh, Dale can't spell properly. Dale's language is awful. His grammar is terrible. Oh. All emotional pain that stopped me, if I listened to that, would have stopped me from impacting so many kids around the world. Guys, I didn't know if you knew this, but my books made it all the way to Hawaii. Hawaii! So few people in Hawaii have got my book. That's epic. And if I listened to my insecurity of, nope, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to press a button. That would never happen. That would never happen. It never would have reached bestseller status at all. But instead I thought, and I pressed a button. And it scared me. And I'm glad it scared me. I'm glad it scared me because that fear helped me be, grow as a human, grow as a man, grow as a, as a person. It really did. Social media again. Level two. The ugly part of social media. There are some really cool, clever people in this world. Really clever people that know how to keep somebody hooked. Guess what? When we were kids, we saw a TV show and we were watching it and then the adverts came on and it was just like, oh yeah, here we go, there's this new chocolate bar, that's this, this and this, look at cameras, look at this, da 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 And they have all the right colours, they have all the right wording, they have all the right pictures of chocolate and stuff to sell to you. So I'm watching that, I'm like, well, can I have a, can I have a Kit Kat, please? We yeah, don't have any. Oh, okay. Can I come shopping with you? Yeah, you can come shopping with me. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, guess what I want? I want a Kit Kat. Because the people that have the advertising have done it so well, they've enticed me. Just like with gaming as well. They see games on the, on the on adverts. I see a game. I think, oh, that's a really, really cool game. If I was a kid, I'd be like, I want that Star Wars game. Oh, my gosh, I want that Call of Duty game. That looks so, so epic. That looks sick. I want that so much. Because they show you the best bits. And they show you the fun bits. And they entice you into getting the game. And what they do is, 
they compare it to other people. Oh, your friend's probably got this game as well. Play with your friends. I want to be like my friends. I want to fit in. I want to fit in. I can play the game. Da, da, da. They say, this is exactly what it does on social media. So, for example, on TikTok and Instagram, what they do is, if I scroll through pictures, if I look at cakes or, and dogs, I'm like, oh, that's a cool thing. Or um, 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 mindset. Okay. Guess what? The algorithm does the instagram algorithm and the tiktok algorithm it's very clever the next day i will go on my phone and in my home feed is nothing but cakes and dogs and mindset stuff i'm like oh sweet dog there that's a cute <laughs> there's a pug it's a pug wearing a darth vader mask i like star wars as well that's cool oh my god i really want to make that chocolate flapjack oh my gosh That's, oh, mate, I want a burger. Look, the amount of cheese, look, the amount of cheese on that burger, that is, ah, oh, that is so penting, as Alex would say. I keep scrolling, I keep scrolling. Ah, oh, look at that. You get the point, okay? It keeps me hooked, it keeps me scrolling. I have just lost, however long I was scrolling for, let's pretend I was on there for 30 minutes. I am never ever going to get that 30 minutes back in my life ever it's gone it's gone forever because i wasn't aware and i turned into a mindless zombie scrolling through the things that instagram knows that i like i am getting external validation from this external what i could do is this here's what i could do Right, I'm only going to look at three pictures today. Pug, hilarious. Mindset, be the person you've always wanted. Yep, wicked, I'm going to like that. Uh, I'm gonna, and I'm going to live by that today. Wicked, live by the rules. I'm going to serve one person today. Yes, we're going to ring someone. Hey dude, look, I know we're going through a tough time at the moment. I just want to know, is everything okay? You good? No. Talk to me. Talk to me. Da -da -da -da. Perfect. Goodbye. Next one, flapjack. Click on that recipe, boom. Put it on the side, make the recipe. That's how social media can empower you to act, to do something. You have to be aware of the trap of social media. Social media, what it will do, it will keep you drolled in. It will turn you into a consumer, okay? It will turn you into a consumer. And I don't mean a consumer as in like buying stuff. There are adverts on Facebook and Instagram and, and TikTok, etc. There's loads of adverts on there. And oh my gosh, look at that. I want to be TikTok famous. I'm going to follow him. I'm going to sell t-shirts. I'm going to sell merch. I'm going to buy merch first though. Or going to buy merch. I'm not talking about buying things, even though I am a little bit. I'm talking about consuming the content by keep on scrolling, keep on scrolling, keep on scrolling, keep on scrolling until you've just lost so much time in your life. For goodness sake, if I'm 15 year old and I'm just doing this and liking this and and I get to the age of 25 and I've got a job interview and they love me so much for let's say I wanted to work for Pixar, Pixar and I was like an interior, I, know, I was a, a computer graphic designer guy and I was so excited about working for Disney. Oh my God, that'd be so sick. Uh, and I went there and I did so well at the interview and they, and they said, okay, give me, give me one, one thing that you're proud of or one thing you like. Uh, uh, when I was 14, I, I you know, I, I went on Instagram a lot and I, uh, I was the last man standing on Fortnite. Would that impress them? Absolutely not. They would be impressed by other things. They would be impressed if you had an Instagram page that inspire people with graphic design about your own designs. They will be inspired by you creating your own content. So if you are thinking about going on social media, first of all, know who you are, love yourself. Use it as a tool to produce, not consume. Excellent validation, consuming, 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 consuming. If I consume all of this stuff, I'm just gonna be blown away my mind's gonna be so blown i'm gonna be overwhelmed uh i'll make it <laughs> maggie you there you make an amazing tigger for disney <laughs> maybe um i want you to produce produce serve help i drew this picture i drew this picture haha -ha, that's a rubbish picture okay cheers for your feedback but I, I love doing it i'm doing it i'm not doing it for you i'm doing it for me okay drew another picture 
Ha, ha, rubbish. Do another picture. Ha, ha, rubbish. I will keep on drawing pictures until I get the people saying, ha, ha, that's rubbish, wanting to copy me. Wanting to be like, that's, that's, that's really good. I like that. Because I'm not doing it for them. As soon as I know I'm doing it for them, I will be easily influenced by them saying it's rubbish. And be like, oh, should be, oh I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> Get over your freaking self. Do it again. You better do it again. Because you're not doing it for them. You're doing it for you. And that's me being serious right now. Okay? That's me being serious. You may have known by my tone. I apologise. But I'm being serious. I'm doing it for you. I want you to be a producer, not a consumer. Consume, consume. Seek internal validation. Alex Hybro, never seek external validation. Never. I mean, okay, let's be real now. You possibly can seek external validation if it's from those you care about. Hey, uh, mom, uh, I bought this new jacket for the wedding. What do you think? Do you like it? That's cool. You get an, you're getting an opinion off those that you love, off those that care about you. I wouldn't be like this. Uh, put a jacket on. Random person in next. Uh, you there, man? Excuse me. Yes, you come here. It's two minutes. Come here. Come here. Hi. I don't know. You don't know me. But what do you think to my jacket? Would that opinion actually matter compared to the opinion of your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister or your uncle or your aunt or your grandma or your granddad or your pug? Wouldn't matter, would it? So let's refrain. The good, the bad and the ugly of social media. The good. It's so amazing that we can reach out to people. My dad has just managed to get himself on Facebook, much to my mum's surprise. How do, how do you get on Facebook? How do you do that? Oh, just, just learn how to do it. Dad and my got on Facebook. And it's cool because he's managed to reach out to his to his old schoolmates and his old football friends, which is amazing. We need this. It's good to say, hey, hey, Mick, how you doing? You good? Oh, hey, Charlie, what's going on? What's, what's new? Oh, I think he's got married. Great. Absolutely great. Amazing. Good. Social media is great for reaching out to old friends and building relationships. It's also great for producing and impacting the world. So amazing for that. Social media is not so good if we consume everything. If we consume everything. It's not so good if we focus on the negative. If we see all these negative things on the news. Well, yeah, we get that. I want you to be clear, though, guys and girls, that things on the news, things on the news, a lot of the time tend to be negative because the human psyche, the human brain... Uh, oh, I forgot just sent me a message. Uh, I am on the phone. Sorry, Laura. Um, we'll seek out, the human brain will seek out things to be aware of, negative things. When back in the cave, cave person days, the brain will seek out where does that same tooth tiger live? Where's that snake hiding? Those berries are poisonous. But these days, it's not a same tooth tiger. It's pointing hand up in class. It's not a poisonous snake hiding. It's uh, releasing your first YouTube vlog because you're scared of what people think. It's not the poison berries. It's the, oh, I'm going to speak to that girl because I think she's quite attractive. I'm going to speak to that boy because he looks really cool. All of which these things will not physically harm you. Okay? So the good, the bad, the ugly is like I've said before, I've touched on this one, the consuming, okay? The, the ugly is consuming and keeping someone lost in the scrolling and being and allowing people to pick on you and allowing people to say horrible things to you. Why don't you just go, okay, it's horrible things out there and I'm going to say it. I'm gonna, I, am, I am going to say it. I need you to be ready and I'm going to say this because I trust every single person on here because you're very mature. Some people send people messages on social media saying, why don't you go and kill yourself? When, if I ever receive that, I'm unfortunate I haven't received that, but if I ever receive that, I would say this. How can I help you? you? For somebody to say that, listen, hear me. For somebody to say that, they are in such deep pain themselves. They really are. So if I receive that, I'll be like, mum, 
this person sent me this. How can we help this person? Because they're in a lot of pain. <gasps> They've just told you to go kill yourself. They're really horrible. Yeah, I, I know, but I love myself. and I'm not going to kill myself because I'm one in 400 trillion. I'm a freaking miracle, mom. How can we help this person? What can we do? Should we talk to their parents? Yes, that's a good idea. Let's talk to, and talk to people from school as well because they may have sent it to other people too. And other people may not take it like I've taken it. So let's, let's, let's tell their... Tell the parents and tell the teachers at school as well, okay? Because I think this needs, this person needs help. That's what I think. Yes. So Andy, it is, it is horrible. I think that's, uh, I think that's you and actually on that, in, on that one. It's horrible for the person. Some people say horrible things like that, and if you ever, you you may, you may get a message like that. And here's what I want you to do exactly to the letter. You ready? You may get a you may get a message from that if you go on social media from somebody that may you may know or you may they may be hiding in the background. You may not know them. It could be anonymous, and they and they say something like, "Let me go kill yourself." Oh, well, wow, this person needs help. Uh, before I respond back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell my trusted adult. What three people in this world are your trusted adults? If you want me to be one, perfect. But I will tell your parents, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> uh, because it's really important. Trusted adults, parents, grandparents, older, uh, brother and sister a bit. But if it's, if it's a super older brother and sister, then great. Auntie and uncle, uh, uh, godfather, godmother. Uh, yeah, my mentor, mum and dad. Could be a, a mentor or a coach. It's really important. Tell one of those three, this per and this person needs help. First of all, tell, T, tell straight away, tell. How can we help? How can we help? I want you to be completely aware of the fact that this person is in pain saying those things to you. Wow. I would never say that to somebody, which tells me that I'm not in pain, which tells me that I'm happy with myself, so, so I'm, I'm fine. But this person needs help. Mom, dad, coach, uncle, auntie, sister, brother, uh, this person sent this. Well, how can we help them? So if you ever get a message like that, I want you to tell straight away. As fa play a game as fast as see how fast you can do it. See how fast you can do it. Bang, straight away. I'm mum and dad's at work. Bring them, straight away. Straight away. As fast as you possibly can. I don't want you to be emotionally attached to it. And how to help that is by knowing that this other person is in pain to say that. In pain. That's what I want you to do. I need you to hold your hands up. Say, Dale, I will promise I will do that if that happens to me. Say it right now, everybody. Go for it. After three. One, two, three. Dale, I promise to do that if that happens to me. Hold your heart. There you go. Good. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So that's the ugly side of social media as well. By the way, guys, we d I know I've got so many friends that aren't really on social media. They don't really need social media. I, I don't need social media, but I use social media as a way to to produce, to make things for other people. I've done lots of silly videos. I've got my, my YouTube channel. Uh, I've got my Instagram page. And it's and I wasn't searching for it. Sort of, in the beginning, I probably was thinking, oh, how many subscribers have I got? How many followers have I got? But now it's like, oh, it's really cool that people are following me and they like what I'm putting on there. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm doing it for. I'm doing it because I want to help people. I do it because I want to serve people. I do it because I want to stay in touch with, with friends. I do it because I want to meet new people. That's what I do to social media for. So this topic was why why am I on social media for? So like I've just said, I want to do it because I want to help people. I want to, I want to make people laugh. I want to make people smile. I want to make people confident, and I want to make people strong as well. And I'm not saying that that, that my way is the only way. Absolutely not. 
cross my heart, hope to stick a cupcake in my eye. <laughs> there you go, I love that one, that's funny. Uh, yeah. And another thing, I didn't mention this one, did I? Another thing. With social media, what it does is, by the way, you see social media out there, I, I, I'm going to do it, it's in my book actually, social media, so I, I took a picture of uh, one picture like this and another picture like this and I, and I took the normal picture and I held it up there and then I edited this picture, I had lighting, I changed the, the, the tone of the face, I made it more tanned by changing a filter, I made the eyes a bit bigger, it was amazing, it was really cool and I looked there and I was like, oh my god, I look so really, I look good looking in this one, I look, I look like me in this one, I look really good looking in this one, guess what, this one's fake, this one's not you, it's fake, it's not real, okay, if you all, if you keep on doing that, it tells me, tells you that you're quite insecure with yourself, in that case, Another reason why you shouldn't go on social media. Why on earth does Instagram and Snapchat have the feature of having the bunny rabbit ears? Because the bunny rabbit ears, when you get the bunny rabbit ears, it makes your eyes a bit bigger. It makes your jaw, jaw a bit smaller. It makes your mouth a little bit smaller. It makes your lips a little bit bigger. It makes your head look amazing. It, it takes the tone off your face. So you look, you look like you've got a smooth face, a smooth complexion. Why? Because animalistically, psychologically, those are attractive features so they make the most of it on there very naughty and it keeps you hooked so i'm here i do a little picture of selfie here ding ding of me looking like a bear or a puppy with my eyes big and my lips small and looking all beautiful fake beautiful and i put it on social media and here's what i get oh look at that i've got 700 likes for that oh my god that's amazing that's really cool take it to the bank and get money from that can you do that with the likes no you can't Oh my gosh, Listen, oh, I've got, now I've got 800 likes. That's really, really cool. Take that to a coffee shop and meet somebody uh, that you find attractive and ask them out on a date. Hey, guess what? Before I just went on a date, look at this. I've got 800 likes for this photo. Will you go out with me? Go away. Whew. Be careful on social media as well because when you get the likes, what happens is you get a little hormone called dopamine. Ding! Dopamine goes produce and goes off. Oh my gosh, I got to like people like me. I've got a dopamine hit. Woohoo! That's really, really cool. Dopamine is pretty much like a drug. This is social media. Parents, watch, listen to this now. Kids, listen to this now. If I let you go on social media at eight or nine or ten or whatever it may be, well, you're not emotionally ready. First of all, you're not emotionally ready. You're not. I'm sorry, you're not emotionally ready for it. Period. Done. You're not. TikTok, you're not. I may as well, instead of you giving social media that age, I might as well open up the alcohol cabinet in my house. By the way, I've probably only got about two bottles of whiskey because I do like whiskey in there. But <laughs> let's pretend I had lots of alcohol in there. Beer, whiskey, wine, uh, Guinness, whatever. I may as well, to the kids, say, here you go, kids. Have that instead. Have that instead. Oh, no, 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 actually, no, no. Have this, have some cigarettes, have some cigarettes instead. I don't know, have some weed instead. No, no, don't do social media, have weed. Have weed instead. That's what I might as well do. Do you know why? Because it is increasing dopamine. I get a dopamine hit, to pretend that I do if I'm, if I'm an alcoholic, I'm not, just saying. Um, I get a dopamine hit when I have that uh, first whiskey. I get a dopamine hit when I have that <sighs> cigarette, Ooh, weed. Oh, I get a dopamine hit. And I'm reliant on the weed. I'm reliant on the alcohol. I'm reliant on the cigarettes. I'm reliant on the likes. Because it's increasing dopamine. A little happiness drug that goes doink. Or endorphins, whatever you want to call them. Endorphins and, and dopamine goes off in my head. So I'm not actually looking for the likes, I'm looking for the dopamine hit, but my brain doesn't know that yet because I can almost imagine that every single person on this right now, not every single person, but most, especially the kids, do not know what dopamine is. Okay, so Alex, good question, buddy. Weed, that is a type of drug. So it just I should have said drugs, I didn't mean weed, just any any drug, any drug. Because when we have drugs, when, when some people have drugs in this world, they have the drug and they see it. It's not what the drug... It's, 
it's the what the feeling you get from having the drug that are oh, the euphoria the happiness the 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 ah oh, the bliss of having it and that's same as being on social media i see a tiktok video <laughs> i feel good dopamine next video <laughs> i feel good dopamine i feel good. <laughs> dopamine until I turn into a zombie. Like, same with alcohol. I haven't got a glass in here. Oh, turn into a zombie. Same with smoking drugs or smoking cigarettes. I turn into a zombie. So be very careful why you go on social media for. All right? Be aware of social media. Just know that you see all these pretty people on social media... Great, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them. I'm really, I really am happy for that. So that's great. But just know that the majority of those pictures are fake. They're highlighted. They've got the filter changed. Uh, they made their face smaller. They made their eyes bigger. They made themselves look pretty. Fake. Not all. I've just put a post up recently and I'm, <laughs> and I'm all wrinkly and I'm okay. I'm owning my wrinkles, man. I'm good. I'm good with that. Uh, they do. Uh, they do, um, Alex. Yes, they do. So, yeah. Let me speak to your... Let me leave a message to your mum about that as well. By the way, if anybody's watching this and they get a bit confused as to what I've said today, then please reach out. Please message me. And I will do my best to try and help you out, okay? But it's coming close to 12 o'clock. I have another call in a minute, so I might have to dash. Oh, Sheen, bro, come on, what are you doing? How late are you? Started an hour ago, man. Where have you been? Where have you been? Um, Alex, it doesn't matter who doesn't like it. James is on board. Guys, you're so late. What's going on? Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, grey hairs are wisdom wrinkles and maps the smiles oh my gosh Maggie I've never heard of that one that's really 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 cool I like that a lot what's that okay <laughs> so it's come close to the end now guys do we have uh, I've, I've, I've got three minutes left do we have any questions that I can answer really quickly uh, three minutes left because I want to make sure that you are uh, good terrible mate I'm working from home so I found a minute to tune in cheers bro yeah to be fair it is lunchtime for you I guess so I don't know that man I swear. Oshin, how have you been, bro? Oshin, by the way, everybody, was a star pupil of mine. I used to teach him at Harris. A legend. Uh, what are you up to, bro? You good? Jay, I'm, uh, James, I'm good, bro. I'm good. How are you, Chief? You good? Uh, so Alex and Kieran are having a little conversation. That's, uh, that's cool. <laughs> by the way, what do we think of the beard? Too much? I want Laura so Laura's got a YouTube channel by the way she only did one video because she's learning how to do it um but I want her to have another video her video is going to be shaving me to have my hair I don't know what my hair's going to look like it's massively long isn't it it's really long I'm okay with it but it'll be fun actually to change it around a little bit with my beard as well brilliant uh mate getting through your oh legend yeah she's got my book that's sick I love that painting bled <laughs> I hope you like the book, my man. I really do. It's uh, it, it took a lot of, it took it was a lot of work, dude. Obviously, I'm dyslexic, so to like spell things, you, I I checked through it at least seven times, like all the whole book, read it seven times. So then, ah, checked it. There was no mistakes in there. Turns out, there were hundreds of mistakes. Other people were even like, "No, you spelled, you spelled cool wrong. You spelled cruel. You, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, but I got it out. That's okay." Uh, so, yeah, make sure that you um, that you get internal validation, not external validation. And kids, if you're watching this and your parents are, watch, are not looking at this, then I want you to tell them the difference between internal validation and external validation. OK, tell your parents that now if they're not working, if they can say, hey, mom, can I have a minute of your time? Oh, can you give me five minutes? Yeah, absolutely. I respect me. So I respect you. Five minutes. Guess what internal validation means? Guess what this means? Social media is this, this, and this. Okay? Cool. Anyway. <laughs> be epic. Be awesome. Be kind. Be respectful. Be great. And be optimistic. And be safe, obviously. That's how I hang out. Peace. Mm -hmm.